Hi guys, yes, I know it's been a very long time since I've done a video and I truly apologize for keeping you guys waiting. Um, I've actually been like really busy. I have finally got, <clears throat> I have finally got approved to look for a house, um, my final house, finally. And um, closed a couple weeks ago, so I've been really busy at the house trying to get some things done um as you can tell by my little fro right here i really, really haven't had any time um but i am about to do something with this fro now um because it's it's really getting out of control the last time that i retwisted my locks was back last, actually a little bit over a month so um, I'm trying not to retwist them as often. Um, I pretty much use the same method that I used the last two times. I would just twist and let them drop. I wouldn't use no, no clips to, <laughs> to hold them in. Um, I felt that twisting them looser would be better. Um, but... <sighs> It, it it was a hit hit and miss you know what i mean it was um the first time i did it i think i used twisting like gel um the twist didn't stay after <laughs> a couple weeks it became loose here once again and the second time i used water only and once again it was like a couple weeks and the twist just dropped um so last month when I twisted my locks, I used the beeswax. Beeswax only wasn't on damp hair. It was um okay, it wasn't on dry hair, but it wasn't on wet hair. It was kind of damp, so to speak. It was moisturized. Um and I found that the twist stayed a lot longer, so I still have twist from last month which I'm happy that it worked out that way um since I used to beeswax it is not my locks are not stiff I definitely keep my locks still moisturized so it's like my, <laughs> my loose natural hair is really really soft um there's no like I don't see any buildup or anything at least not yet um so this time i think this time instead of using the beeswax i'm going to try to use gel i want to keep trying i want to keep trying different things to see what really works i don't mind the beeswax the beeswax works fine but i don't want to be putting beeswax in my hair every single month I want to give it a break so I'm gonna use gel this time and probably will tie it down or use clips or something and we'll see how it goes I was gonna start um, tomorrow night but I got little time on my hands not a lot of time before these people come to the house and measure out these rooms to put carpet down so <sighs> just getting out of work so I might as well stay up until after the house thing so I just thought I'd come to you guys with a really short video to let you know that I am still here I have not cut my locks off <laughs> although like being in this condition right now I do think about it but I know once it's twisted it's fine <laughs> and I fall in love all over again so, I'm just going to show you guys what it is. It's, it's just crazy. I know you see my patch. I know I don't plan on dyeing my hair anytime too soon. I actually love my patch right here. So. like literally like all my hair is like really soft and i know i'm gonna have to 
pull some locks apart. Because I, I hit snags every now and then. And the back, ooh, I <laughs> like snags like that. So the last time I retwisted and I used the beeswax, I did two strand twist the back of my hair. I was able to catch it and two strand twist it. And that was a good thing for me. I was excited. But being that, you know, my hair has to get washed, it didn't stick. Maybe like a few of them stayed on the ends. That's definitely not one of them. That's just really coily on the end. Um, I think this one stayed. As you can see, the back of my hair has grown out a lot. So I just want to stay right here that stayed there's another one in there that stayed so i actually have to go back in <sighs> it's like I, I really I, I have to go back in and do the parting for those all over again and i guess i just got to keep at it until they fully lock um i think since i last retwisted i may have pulled out <laughs> another lock because they look like this then but I'm trying not to pull them out. Well, actually, the one was worse than that. But it goes from the back up. And I'm quite all right with it. Like, like I said before, I wasn't going to try to reattach my other locks back to my head. What's the point? So it's kind of like if they all come out, it'll be just... Um, transitioning my new growth into locks i would suppose so i will have i was thinking about it too like cutting them off where i just had my new growth and just start all over again but that is a lot of work that is so much work and it's been tough already so i don't want to make it any tougher but yeah so it's just coming to you guys with another video the video that I haven't posted in a long time trust me I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and putting it off and putting it off but I just been really busy really tired I'm really tired like right now but I'm still here so enjoy this video <laughs> I don't know when the next time I'll do a video I mean more than likely after I do my retwist after it's finished. I'll probably do another video. And thumb, uh, <laughs> thumbs up this video if you want to take a tour of the house. I mean, it doesn't have any furniture in it right now. Um, we're just painting it. We're going to move at the end of this month. So it still needs a few things. Like, it's a solid house. Um, right now, our projects are painting, carpeting, and one ceiling needs to be put up. I have mean, it's a drop ceiling, but I want it down and put up drywall, basement stairs redone, cap on my chimney, gutters need to be clean, and sometime down the road, like in a few years, I would love to have my kitchen expanded, but other than that, it's a really solid house, so... But if you want to see if you want to see a take, if you want to take a tour, let me know in the comments, and I'll be glad to show you guys. But until then, this video's over. Toodles.